hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial so in my previous tutorials on elastic search so we had done a few parts of uh, tutorial where we had shown you how to set up elastic search on sendos ubuntu and also how to you know create some indexes uh, how to add some data how to make some queries so and also the elk stack what are the architecture for that so we have uh, seen uh, quite some uh, videos on that so you can check on uh, the my video channel uh, you know, and you can see the playlist for elastic search so you should be able to see all those tutorials and i will also link those into my uh, video description as well so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to see how we can set up kibana as well along with elastic search so this will be a continuation of the previous tutorial so we'll be using some of those uh, techniques over here as well so please go and look on the previous tutorials as well so what we will do uh, as part of this kibana installation on uh, centos uh, we are going to use centos so uh, no we may uh, do another video on ubuntu but this is will be for centos so we'll do uh, also a, a quick uh, setup of elastic search which we have done it in the uh, first tutorial so you can just uh, able to recap that here and also we'll uh, create the repo for kibana to install kibana so we'll do a installation of kibana as well using that repo and you know we'll make a change uh, in the kibana.yaml file uh, where we'll have some configuration to be done and we'll also start and, uh, and enable and start the service for kibana and we'll also do some changes in the ports for uh, uh, enabling you know 5601 port and also 9200 port for elastic search to be open so that we can access it from outside and also we'll uh, show uh, how to create an index in elastic search which we have shown it in by uh, previous tutorial so i'll be using those same technique i'll be using one of those uh, json file and i'll be doing a bulk import to elastic search and we will see how we can access that in the kibana and do some query using a kibana where we have done it through command line but now we can do it through dev tools in kibana itself so before I get into the actual demo on the tutorials, I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and also like my video, share and comment. Okay, let's get uh, started. So this is a CentOS machine, so we don't have any Elasticsearch nor Kibana install. So let's start with the installation of Elasticsearch. So the first step is I'm going to create a repo uh, for Elasticsearch as well. Uh, we've shown it in the uh, previous tutorial also so I'm going to uh, call this uh, as elasticsearch.repo okay and I'm going to insert some content into this so don't worry what I will do is I will uh, put all these commands in my github and I will link that into the video description so you can just go to my github link and copy paste those commands okay so I'm just going to save this file and I'm going to do a installation of uh, Elasticsearch first. So sudo yum install Elasticsearch. So let's wait for this installation to be completed. Uh, you you have seen like in the uh, repo I have given the enable repo as one. If you don't give the enable repo as one, uh, you need to use the repo uh, location specifically in the yum install command like yum install hyphen hyphen repo and the uh, repo name and then you need to use that elastic search so i'll be back once this installation is completed okay great so the elastic search is installation is completed now we can uh, do this uh, steps like uh, reloading daemon and also enabling the elastic search uh, service and also starting the service okay so you can just uh, copy paste these commands itself let me enable the elastic search dot service and uh, you can uh, start the service using this command now if you use uh, status elastic search service you should be able to see the status and you can see Elasticsearch is running. One thing you need to uh, understand is like I have installed Elasticsearch uh, 7.13.22, right? So this is based on the repo. And you know when you do an installation for Kibana, 
you need to use the compatible version with Elasticsearch. So you need to check the you know versions. If you don't use the same version, you may face some problem at the end. So I'm going. I'll be using the same seven dot version for Kibana as well. So let me create a repo for Elastics. Uh, uh, you know, Kibana as well. And one more thing I want to uh, say is like before doing this installation, if you have not imported this uh, uh, key, so you have to import that as well. So since I have already done that, I'm not doing it. Okay, so let me clear out the screen. Let me create a repo again. Since uh, we are inside the uh, repo folder, okay, we are already under etcm repo. We, I'll create a repo for Kibana as well. Now let me call it as Kibana rep dot repo, and let me put the content for it. Now, if you have seen this, uh, I'm giving the name as seven dot x, okay. And uh, if you this uh, the whole content is exactly the same what we given for uh, Elasticsearch also. So you don't need to create this repo. Uh, only thing is you can call that one also, which uh, we named it as Elasticsearch. Uh, but you know, since it's for Kibana, I just want to show you like uh, you know, if you're separately install Kibana alone, you can do it in this way as well. Now you can do a uh, yum install uh, Kibana. and we will wait for the installation to be completed now we can see kibana also is uh, installing with the 7.13.2 version right so that's what i said if you don't use the same versions at the end of uh, you know you may see some compatibility problem and you'll have to upgrade some of this elastic search or kibana which uh, is compatible each other okay great so kibana is also installed so let me clear out this screen and uh, what I would like to do is I want to go to the uh, folder where we have the kibana.yaml file it should be under kibana and we should have the kibana.yaml file so let me edit this file kibana.yml and if you see there are some uh, you know, configuration like server.ports right and we have also like a local host so I'm not going to make those changes. I'm just going to remove only uh, the you know, uh, commenting section for uh, support and also here. And I'm going to change the local host uh, to 0, .0, .0, 0 0.0.0.0. Why? Because if you see this uh, default is local host, which usually means remote machine will not be able to connect. So to allow connect connection to remote user, set parameter non loopback address. So you know you you need to make these changes uh, you know if you keep it localhost you will not be able to access kibana from other you know uh, machine or you know like that so uh, but 0.0, .0 is not that perfect way okay this i'm just for showing it for uh, uh, this tutorial so in your production case you have to map it to you know the right you know configuration as per your ip address okay so uh, let me just save this and then i want to start the kibana service as well so let me enable the service first, then I will uh, create, uh, start the service as well. So let me start it. Let me check the status. Now you can see Kibana service also running. So now what I would like to do is I also want to you know, uh, enable some ports uh, in the firewall otherwise you will not be able to access it from outside so i want to uh, one port is this 9200 which is for the elastic search and also i want to do it uh, for the kibana port 5601 as well so i will uh, do it for 5601 as well and i will uh, reload the firewall so let's reload it So now in order to access Kibana, you need to have the IP address of this machine, which should be this one. Okay. And I will go to a browser and I will use the port uh, 5601. Now you can see the Kibana is uh, loading up, right? So it's uh, loading Elasticsearch. So yes, we are good. So now you can see we are inside the home uh, page. So you can see uh, options. So sure, this is the new uh, window. Like you have a Kibana for visualization. You have Elasticsearch. You have observability security. So this is a new uh, screen which you will be getting when you use this uh, port. Okay, uh, five six zero one. 
Now, if you click this bar, you have uh, other multiple options here like uh, analytics. So you have a different enterprise search, security, security management, right? So uh, if I go for a uh, index, let me see where it is. So if you go for this analytics and discover, you will have a uh, few other options like uh, data, alerts, Kibana, all right? So if I go to this index management, now you know it, you don't see any index over here, right? Because we don't have any, uh, you know, index created in Elasticsearch. So let me go over here. Uh, what I will do is I will create an index called the Shakespeare, which we did it in the uh, previous tutorial. We did a bulk upload. Uh, so we need to have a wget for that. So I want to install wget first. Then we will download a file, JSON file, and we will import bulk import uh, that into the as an in index okay so let's just wait for wget to be installed then we will do that okay so i'm done with that so let me download this file which is a json file okay let me use it wget so it's downloading the file let's just wait for uh, this to be completed then we will uh, import that as an index okay good so we are done with that so let me just uh, create the index so i'm not going to tell you much about the commands these are all i've done it in the previous tutorial so just you can have a look on those uh, previous video where we are clearly explained why we are using this uh, uh, template or using the command in this way so this is the command so let me just run it So you can see it started creating the indices so we'll just wait for that to be completed okay great so that is done so let me check the index so let me see so we can run this command to get the indexes so we should be able to see like shakespeare uh, the index which we created so let me go here uh, to the kibana and let me refresh it So now you can see we are able to see an index over here, right? So the index management, we are able to see the index Shakespeare. And if you click on it, it will be able to give you details like a few uh, things over here. So you can check out all these things. So uh, I'm not going to talk about all this in this tutorial. So this tutorial is more about setting up of Kibana. And I'll just also show you like how to use the dev tools. So if you go to uh, dev tools, you can write the query here. So in the uh, one of our tutorial, we return some query in the command line itself to get the uh, details from this index right so let me run that query here so this is the query like a match phrase and this is the text entry which is part of uh, uh, one of the books in that so if you run uh, this query you should be able to get the output so you should see like successful six and you know you can see uh, you know which index it is uh, what's the document name right and uh, uh, which play name it is and uh, what is the text entry it is so you can see there is an, uh, uh, some uh, authentication alert because we don't have any security setup or currently in this setup it's because this is a simple setup we don't have a user id password uh, you know the authentication between elasticsearch and kibana so that you know we need to set up using this documentation uh, which we will see in the uh, you know upcoming tutorials for this one i just wanted to show you like how you can set up kibana along with Elasticsearch and how you can make use of Kibana to do some query of the indexes. So that is all for this tutorial. So we'll see more about exciting topics, more more contents coming up in the upcoming tutorials. So I'm hoping this tutorial is informative for you. So I would request you to click on the subscribe button for uh, more videos and we'll be more notified just pressing the bell icon on the video. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping you know you will be supporting by subscribing my channel.